Hey, how's it going guys? Um, I am doing a video right now, a voiceover of this drone footage that I got. This is a moment um, where I lost my drone for a minute. Uh, it hit a, <laughs> it hit some branches or brush on a tree while I was taking a video of a little cave uh, thing that I found. And so, um, it was kind of it was kind of interesting i wanted to get a close-up shot it's a, apparent that somebody has been kind of inhabiting uh, this little cave on the mountain here it's kind of off of the trail so i figured i'd get a close-up shot of it but when i went to pan back and out i only had visual or video transmission to go off of i couldn't i didn't actually have a visual line of sight on the drone which you should always have However, I was up in the mountain and I didn't really feel like it was going to be a big problem because nobody was really around. So I figured I would just go for it. So, uh, but when I pan, panned out, uh, the propeller hit the brush there and then I had to go search for the drone. So I had to use the beeping. I could have used the maps um, because it kind of tracks your GPS uh you know as far as like pulling up a, a little map of where your drone has been via gps so i could have used it that way as well um but i figured it'd be best just to use the beeping tracking and plus it wasn't far off so um i didn't really have to go too far so i did record uh just manually by hand with my phone the rest of the trek through the mountain and back down through the trail uh, so I hope you guys like it. Stay tuned for that. Thanks. All right, well, the drone fell. I was checking out this little spot over here <laughs> where it looks like somebody's been low key just chilling in there. And uh, it's kind of a steep, ow, ow, steep thing here. The drone got caught right in here. I was trying to get a nice aerial shot. <sighs> it's kind of cool in there. Got some cool, uh, cool little shots in here. And then the drone fell. So I'm like off the trail now. And I gotta wait, make my way back. So that's what we're doing now. Let's uh, make our way up through here. Nice. And that's why they limit your drone flying to 120 meters. Go right up here. We're not too far off the trail here. Very nice. Let's head back up here onto the trail so we can make our way back. <sighs> I didn't plan on going that far. <laughs> and I'll put the uh, the video when the drone hit the hit the uh, bush there. You know, I broke uh, two propellers today now, so that's always great. But luckily, I could 
you know, start beeping and flashing in order to find it, because otherwise I'd be like, not, not quite knowing where to look. Although it does have GPS, I could t take a look at the map. Oh, this is steep. Oh. <sighs> uh. Okay, I made it. But it's not exactly a short walk back. I kind of came a little farther out than I had wanted to, so. But that's okay. We got a nice little walk back. Oh man. Woo. Scaling rocks isn't as easy as it looks. Especially when you have a drone controller in your hand. But hey price you pay maybe we'll go down there and take a look down there nice little lookout point And we're walking. I need to get some new batteries, some more batteries for my drone. I literally only have one right now, but they're kind of expensive. But that would allow me to fly a little bit longer. So I'm gonna have to get a few of those. And oh my gosh, I think I'm walking further away from where I need. I need to be all the way down there in that middle field. So, uh, so yeah, I kind of took the long way around and I forgot my Apple watch. So not even gonna get those rings closed. So that sucks. That's what I do it for. I do it for the Apple watch, so. Go over here. What we got over here? Okay, just a nice little neighborhood. Alrighty, let's head down. Yeah, sorry, I ran out of space because I have so many large video files. So I had to delete some old ones. Anyway, as I was saying, if you're ever up, uh, if you're ever flying your drone, just be prepared, be prepared to um, go hiking, because, uh, you know, you might lose that sucker. Seems obvious, but uh, I didn't even consider it. I guess I just had confidence in my flying abilities, but uh, I was wrong. <laughs> so let's head back here. <sighs> I'm thinking I'm going to get a DJI uh, Osmo or whatever it is, the, the gimbal that holds your phone. Because my phone can already do really good videos, so I don't think there's a reason to get a, um, like an action camera. Also, most of the stuff that I do is not action oriented, so unless you consider hiking, but I'm not going on Mount Everest, so. Yeah, um, well, I think that uh, I'm just going to speed up the rest of this walk. 
So thanks for tuning in to my first video. That's like uh, not a exactly a film or just a, you know music over a over the video. So anyway, um, like and subscribe and speed it up. So really quickly here, I wanted to show you guys the damage to the propellers. There's a couple nicks right there. It's kind of hard to see. This propeller definitely got completely chipped off. Um, and then if we flip it over, you see the same on this one. And then let's see, one of these is cracked all the way through. I'm not seeing which one it is. Oh, this one right here, sorry. It's hard to see, there it is. So, this actually still flies, um, but you don't wanna fly it like this because um, there's a good chance that this propeller right here, the one that's cracked, is going to completely disintegrate once the force of the um, propellers, you know, the, the motors here start spinning, that uh, G-force as it rotates um, can completely dissolve the propeller and then you're you're in for a crash landing so um, so I'm gonna get those changed uh, but yeah I mean thankfully no worse damage than just some propellers to be changed so anyway just a word of advice don't uh, don't keep flying your drone if your propellers are cracked or chipped um, get those propellers replaced.